everybody. Welcome to this afternoon's yin yoga class. Thank you so much for coming to join me. Find some space for yourself on the floor. If you have a block or if you have a pillow or a towel or if you have some blankets that you can fold up, please find any sort of prop that you might have around for yourself. Um, if you haven't come to yin yoga before, we're going to be holding stretches for a little bit longer than usual. So we're working um, to get a little bit deeper into our fascia, ligaments, and tissues. It's very normal while you're doing yin and you're holding a posture for longer than usual that you might notice that there might be some trembling or shaking in your muscles. Please know that that's normal. Your goal for class today is just to come into the best posture or the best version of the shape that I describe and find a point that you can hold and relax in. Yay, and we got a couple minutes till we get started. We are gonna start in easy pose, which I'm in right now, but if you've come early, please feel free to lay down. Feel free to lay down. recommend dressing a little warmly for this class. Typically um, when I teach yin outside of Mitre, I do do it in a warm room. There are also many yin practices that are done in a cold room. Being a little warm is just going to help you to be a little bit looser, comfortable, more flexible. You can always take layers off if you need to as well. I just want to feel cold. Wednesday, everyone. This is the first night of power. Will anyone else be enjoying a Zoom Seder? My family will be Zooming it up tonight. So hopefully you guys are also enjoying whatever socially distanced holiday you might be celebrating. Today's class, we're gonna focus on the hips. Had someone ask me last time if we could please focus a little bit on hips and whatnot. I got an email from another member today talking to me about what he is really noticing is sore. So if you are finding that there's something that's just really not feeling comfortable and you don't know how to stretch it yourself or you want us to address it together, please comment after or now whenever you want send me an email like i i'm so down to do whatever it is you guys need we're working out together but this is i'm here to practice for you so beautiful outside if you're able to join me outside. I recommend it. I'll be listening to the sounds of nature. I did recommend the ambient relaxation playlist on Spotify if you're looking for just some nice soothing background spa related music. No words on that ambient relaxation soundtrack slash playlist that I've noticed yet. Also really good for falling to sleep too. If you're here early, great time to just start focusing on your breath and slowing it down. Starting to work to make your inhales a little bit longer and those exhales as well.
One more minute. Good afternoon, everybody. It's 4.30. Thanks for coming to Yin Yoga today. My name is Jessica Walters. I'm the Health Fitness Program Manager at MITRE and McLean, and I'm really looking forward to guiding you through today's practice. So find your way onto your mat. If you have any props, please feel free to grab any props that you might have. If you find that sitting cross-legged makes your knees come up like this, I recommend finding a towel or a pillow or a block that you can sit on because we're working today really focusing on those hips and having those knees down just a little bit even if you aren't as close in towards the center line of your body with your feet can really just help you start to relax. So I'm going to hang out on this block because why not? I have it. It's pretty cozy. And we're going to just start to come into our breaths right here. So again, yin yoga, we're going to be holding postures for a little bit longer than usual. Two types of yoga, yin, which we're practicing today, and yang. So most yoga that you've practiced online or in a studio or probably at the gym is a yang form of yoga, which is a little bit more active where you're really contracting your muscles to come into the postures, whereas in yin, it's a lot more passive of a yoga. So we're just going to hang out in some stretches for longer than usual. Most of our postures will be anywhere from three to five minutes. You'll notice as we come into some of the longer postures that it might be a little uncomfortable for you. I challenge you to come back to your nice relaxed breath anytime that you're really starting to feel stressed. However, if you notice your muscles are really shaking and trembling, feel free to back off just a little bit, come back into whatever point of the posture that you can find and hold. And if today is your first day, you might not quite know what that is yet, so come back next week, just keep coming back, and it's only gonna get better and more beautiful from here. All right, so as we just start to come into our relaxation and easy pose, don't feel like you have to keep your core contracted right now. You can let that belly totally hang out. Your focus at the moment is just creating some length through the crown of your head and your shoulders away from your ears as you start to come into your nice, relaxed breath. Deep inhales in through your nose, expanding your rib cage and your lung capacity. Take a moment with that big, full breath. Hold it, lungs full. And then open your mouth. As slow as you can go, loud, slow exhale of your mouth. Get all of your stale air out. Inhale. Working to really challenge your lungs, both at their fullest and at their most empty. Exhale. So every breath can be a little bit longer, deeper, and fuller. Inhale. You are welcome to keep your eyes closed for this entire class. Exhale. If you do decide to keep your eyes open, please just find one spot to focus your eyes. Maybe it's on me, maybe it's just near the camera. If your eyes are moving, if your head is moving, your mind is moving. So come into the most relaxation that you can find today. Continuing to hang out here in easy pose, we're actually going to do um, a different type of breathing. So we're gonna try some alternate nostril breathing. I'm gonna go ahead and take my glasses off and describe this alternate nostril breathing to you. You're gonna use your thumb and you're gonna use your ring finger and you're gonna place those up by the 
wear your glasses when hanging out on your nose. You don't want to pinch super low by the actual nostrils because doing so would create more mucus. So you're going to be pinching up at the top, but you're only going to be pinching one side at a time. So you can take your pointer finger and your middle finger and you can gently rest those on your forehead. Let's start by closing off the left side of your nose with your ring finger. Take a deep inhale in through the right side. Close the right side off with your thumb, open the left, and exhale out through the left. Long, slow, deep inhale in through the left side.
down towards your chest. And come back to your breath. I'm just gonna start looking at my watch. Please don't feel like you need to look at yours. Hanging out in our first long posture of the day. Start to scan your body from head to toe. We are focusing on the stretch that's happening in your hips. So take the tension out of your shoulders. Maybe your chin tucks down towards your chest. You can find as much grounding in your back as feels comfortable for you today. Just slowing down that breath. Notice, are you clenching your glutes or your sex organ? If so, take that relaxing release. Take the tension out of your hands and your toes, maybe even wiggling your fingers and your toes just a little bit. Continuing to pull those shoulders away from your ears. Remember to find that one spot to focus your eyes and relax your mind. And maybe with every exhale, you can even focus on those knees coming a little bit closer towards the floor, a little bit more of a stretch in those hip flexors. You're doing great, everyone. We're about halfway through this first stretch. Yes, this is the yoga. time. 
rest your head on your hands. If you have a block or a pillow, feel free to even rest your head here on the pillow. We got three minutes right here in Caterpillar. So just find the deepest stretch that feels good for you that you can hang out in for three minutes. And if time goes on and you're starting to feel tense, maybe give yourself a little shake, a little wiggle, and come back into as much stillness as you can find. Once again, focusing on your breath to slow it down. If you're really slowing that breath down, you might be able to get five breaths per minute. Keep going. Right here in Caterpillar. Remember, if you're going for that lower back, you have some rounding, your chin can tuck towards your chest, maybe your belly comes towards your thighs. If you're going more for the stretch on the back of your legs, your chest is lifted, your belly is coming towards your thighs, your chin is away from your chest to take the rounding out of your back. for a twist and stump. You might want to get that left leg a little bit more centered in front of your body. This time you're going to take your left hand and grab hold of the outside of your right knee. Bring your right hand fingertips close by the base of your spine. Press into those fingertips. Open your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Find some lift through the crown of your head. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, turn and twist over that right shoulder. Drawing that right knee closer towards your left armpit. Still stretching shoulders away from your ears. My elbows are even stretching down towards the floor to create a big twist in my spine. Using your breath, exhale, bring that chin as close to your right shoulder as you can. Find one spot to focus your eyes, relax your mind, come back to your breath, stretching up through the crown of your head. Two more breaths right here. Enjoy your deep inhale, and on your exhale, slowly, gently twist back towards the front. Kick that right leg out in front of you, in line with your left. Take a moment, windshield wipe your knees again. Bob them up and down, get your feet involved, maybe even shake your shoulders out a little bit. And let's 
go ahead and get the other side. Remember, option to kick that right leg out a little bit, a little more corner-wise. So keep it in front of you if you want. Find whatever hold you can find of that left leg. Bringing your heel in about in line with the outside of your hip. Feel free to grab hold with fingers interlaced. I prefer to take hold of my knee with my elbow crook. That also allows me to get my left sit bone down on the floor. Pulling shoulders away from your ears, stretching up through the crown of your head, focusing on the stretch that we're creating in our back, in your hips. Find that one spot, focus your eyes, relax your mind and slow your exhale down. Think about what's happening with your face right now. If someone walked in the room and they saw you practicing, do you have an angry, focused face? Or does your face look relaxed, like you're enjoying yourself? Try to look relaxed. Even consider smiling at yourself. Two more breaths right here in our half stop. Stretch in that upper back. Maybe giving yourself a couple 
circles, whatever you do in one direction, just do it in the opposite direction as well. A couple more moments for your free movement and cat cow. And then we're going to come into our deepest hip opening stretch of the day. So breathe it out, breathe it out right here. Find what feels good for you. Remember, every day is different. Every day our bodies are different. And just being so thankful for whatever it is that your body can do for you today. All right, next up is frog. If you have blocks or pillows, now is a great time to use them. We're going to open those knees out nice and wide. Maybe even mat twip distance apart. Take your toes instead of pointing towards the wall behind you and find a 90 degree angle so the inner arches of your feet are going to come onto your mat. I'm just going to turn forward. I am on some concrete stone here. I'm going to not recommend that to you. Okay, so we're creating as many 90 degree angles as you can here. If you're really tight, you might not be able to get down very far, but if you can, start to open those knees a little bit wider, bringing your groin towards the floor. And then open those feet out nice and wide. Again, finding that 90 degree angle. If that does not work for you, you can also bring your heels in towards each other and just focus on the stretch happening right here in your hips. With my hands on the floor and my knees out so nice and wide, man, I feel this. I'm gonna hang out right here. We got about three minutes. Just keep breathing it out. If you want, feel free to bring that chest down towards the floor. The closer that you get towards the floor, the more you're gonna start feeling that stretch inside of your hips. So remember, only come into something that you think you can hold for two more minutes. Don't come all the way down into a frog with your belly on the floor and then immediately find, nope, nope, I gotta pick myself up. Find what it is that you can do today. Even if you're just barely in frog, the setup is always the posture. Doesn't matter what's happening. I don't care if you're wearing your shoulders as earrings right now, because we're really just focusing on that stretch that's happening on your hips. If you do want to try and come a little bit deeper as we come towards the second half of our time in frog, you are welcome to. But remember, just finding what feels good for you today. You can do this again tomorrow, the next day. Come back next week too. Back to your relaxed breath. Sending those exhales to those tense spots. Hip flexors, inner thighs stretching. Feeling a little in those outer thighs and glutes. All just depends on how tight your body is today. Stay with it. You're so worth it. Three more super slow breaths. Slower. Last one. Now the easiest way to come out of frog is usually to pull yourself forward. Pull yourself forward, get those legs out behind you. Take a moment, even bring your chest down towards the floor, bend your knees and windshield wipe those legs. Right and left, right and left. And good news, next up, we got child's pose. So as you're ready, press yourself back up, bring those toes together, send your hips back towards your heels. Knees can be out nice and wide. Remember, you can use that block because we're going to hang out for an extended child's pose. Walk your arms as far forward as feels comfortable for you today. If that's too much on your shoulders, taking that generous bend of your elbows, even the option to bring your hands back by your heels. Now you can relax your head down on the mat just like this. I know I've told you that it's not my favorite thing to do because I feel like it drains all the mucus in, into my head, but maybe it's your favorite thing to do. Find what feels good for you. Three minutes right here, child's pose. Focus 
on exhaling, relaxing your hips a little bit closer towards your heels. Each breath. Maybe your belly is getting a little closer towards your thighs. Feel free to come down. The more that you bring yourself down. 
into this posture on one side, then the other. Remember, we're going to start out lifted. Don't forget to use your props, pillows, towels, whatever you can to find that lift. Working to try to get your left glute and your right thigh back down towards the mat, and you're just doing the best that you can today. Awesome. Three more breaths right here. Nice and lifted. Shoulders pull away from your ears. That big stretch is happening this time more behind the right part of your back and your butt. Keep breathing, you got it. Take one more deep inhale, and then we're gonna come forward. It does not matter if your shin is parallel with the top of your mat, in case you were worried about it. I find it easy to get my shin parallel to my mat on the other side, but on this side, I really need to bend my knee a little bit more. You can even see that my left toes are kind of pointing in the direction of my right knee. Feel free to relax your head on your hands. Feel free to press those elbows into the floor. Just finding as much relaxation and comfort as you can while getting deep into those hips, thighs, and glutes. Nice work. Three more breaths right here. straighten your arms, walk yourself back in. One more opportunity to really try and find that deep stretch on the inside of your right thigh. If you're game, go ahead, bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand, find your toes. Work to bring those toes into the crook of your elbow or your armpit while still not rolling too much onto the left side for three, two, Your right side. 
Once again, feel free to use a prop right here. If it's hard for you to get your thighs onto the floor, maybe placing a prop under your thighs, maybe placing a block or a pillow between your thighs to help your hips stack a little bit more. As you're ready, turn your chin towards your left shoulder and relax as much of your shoulders on your mat as you possibly can. This all just depends on how tight your chest, your back, your muscles are. For some people, it's really easy to get both shoulders down on the floor, and for some people, it's hard. Good news, flexibility is learned over time. So just come back tomorrow. We have a mind-body class on the schedule every day, sometimes two. Yay, relaxing in this twist. Scan your body, take the tension out of your shoulders and your chest. Take it out of your glutes. Go ahead and take one more deep inhale. And on your exhale, bring those knees back up towards the ceiling. Maybe re-ground yourself on the mat. Find your hip bones, your on the mat. And then allow your knees to fall over to the opposite side. Relax your back, your shoulders onto the mat. Use your breath on your exhale as you're ready, turning your chin towards your right shoulder. Relaxing your eyes on one spot. Notice if you're squeezing your chest. Once again, my name is Jessica. Namaste.